So you have to uh, follow three step process. The first step is uh, first you need to download the R uh, into your computer. For that, you can use this particular uh, link. So I have provided all these links in the description of this video. And the uses of this particular software uh, will be explained in a separate video. And for this, basically, uh, you need to follow three step process in order to install the software into your computer. So here you can see the uh, three steps. I have provided all these steps in the description of this video. And first, you need to download the R software into your computer. For that, you can use this particular uh, link. And by using this link, you can click and by or simply you can Google it using your Chrome browser. So here is the web page. And from this web page, you can download the R software. The R is used for various purposes, analysis purposes. And R can be downloaded first into your computer. So you can, if uh, that is, we, we have three options, uh, which is depending on your operating system. If you are using a Mac uh, operating system, so you can just click this one. And if you are using uh, Windows, uh, then you can click the third link. So since I'm using a Windows, I can click this one. And once this is clicked, then you have uh, this, uh, you have this link and you can click this, install R for the first time, click this link and you can check, you can click this one as well. It is being downloaded and it's taking time to download it. Right, it's done now. Then you need to run it, double click on it, and simply as usually when you are installing the normal process of installing a software can be performed like this. Then click yes, then you can click all these next button, then you can leave this box as it is and click the next button then finish then you have to click the next step next the second step is uh, install the R studio right so R studio you need to install in into your computer and uh, this link also provided in the description box of this video and just click on this and this is the R studios web page in that you can see the download here download menu here and click that one and when you click you have three options four options right so i'm using the free version Right, so free version is more than enough for bibliometric analysis, how this particular software can be used and for what purposes this can be used uh, will be explained in a particular, in a separate video. And I will provide the link of that video in the description box of this video. Right, so when you click this one, so you have to click this one, then uh, it has uh, two steps like uh, that we, we, the first step first step is already done and the next step is this uh, installing r studio if you are using a mac or separate other uh, other operating system that is depending on your computer operating system it automatically detects right so since i'm using a, a, a windows system it automatically detects as this Right, so I'm using a Windows, right? Windows is highlighted here. If you are using a uh, Mac operating system, then uh, Mac logo and uh, this type of Mac window uh, is appeared on this particular screen. So therefore, since I'm using uh, Windows, so just click it. So then it is downloading. Then you need to run it as we did previously for the installation of R. Then double click on it. Then again, you have to press the yes button. Then next button, next button, then install. It's taking some time to install this. 
then you have to press the finish button. So once the, it is done, the next, the third step is download the bibliometric package for our studio. Uh, basically, uh, download the bibliometric package for the R studio. You can do that by using this link. And once it is clicked, then you can you have this kind of uh, web page. And in that, so you can use You can use this, uh, you have two versions, uh, stable version and beta versions. Normally I recommend to use a stable version. So that is more than enough for us to uh, do more bibliometric analysis with this version. So therefore I recommend you to download this one. This is more than enough for our purpose. Uh, so for that, uh, basically in the stable version, you have to take this, uh, uh, you have to take this command prompt uh, we have to take this uh, command and you need to copy this one, this command and paste in the R. Right. So for that, you need to take the following codes. So install dot package uh, within bracket bibliometric. So you need to copy this uh, code and paste it in the R Studio. Since you have already installed the R Studio into your computer, then you can open it. And once it is open, you can paste this particular uh, code and run it. Right. So you have instructions here, what you need to do in this and you need to follow the same instructions uh, in the R Studio. So what you can do now is you just go to the R Studio, then type R Studio because it has already been uh, installed into your computer. R Studio. R Studio. So you have this app for your convenience. You can pin it to taskbar. So then once it is done, you can see the icon here and click this one. You can paste this code in the R Studio interface and enter here. So it is reading all these files and installing the bibliometrics package into the R studio. It is taking some time to install it, install all the things. Now what you need to do is type the library 
like this, like library. You can select from this menu and put the bibliometrics, bibliometrics. Right, so select this and enter. So then the most important one is this command and use this command, copy it and paste here and enter. So then you automatically drag into this particular web-based software. Please remember this is a web-based software and you can do a lot of bibliometric analysis with this. It is taking time to load. Once it is done, Still again taking, since this is the first time, it's taking some time to load it. So you can uh, see the progress here from this uh, studio console or interface. And So you have this interface once it is done, right? This is the software. So that is already everything done. Now you can use this for bibliometric analysis. Again, uh, this is the interface and uh, you can upload load data by using these interfaces. Uh, you can import uh, CSV files already downloaded from databases and by uploading this, you can use those in uploaded data uh, into bibliometric analysis. So I will, as I promised, uh, I will do a separate video for this, how to use this uh, particular software for bibliometric analysis. These are the three steps to be followed. And uh, by using these three steps, you can simply install the BibliOshiny software for your analysis.